Every year, Apple drops tons of new iOS features, but let's be real, most of them don't actually change how you use your phone. But this year, iOS 26 has eight game-changing updates you need to know about. These features are actually useful and will seriously change the way you use your iPhone forever. Starting with feature number one, enable a personal DJ in Apple Music. I can guarantee that you have never listened to music like this straight from your pocket. Apple is releasing a brand new feature called Auto Mix that essentially gives you a personalized DJ on your iPhone. I could explain this to you in depth, but instead, let me show you it in action. So right now I'm playing Man Eater by Nelly Furtado and the song is about to finish. With Auto Mix turned on, this should transition into the next song just as well as a DJ would. So let's see how this goes. There's the auto mix indicator. Wow, honestly, that was pretty seamless. You guys heard that, right? This feature is one of my absolute favorites and I will definitely be using it all the time. So to enable this, you will go into settings, scroll down to song transitions and click on auto mix. Once you see the check mark on the side, you're good to go and ready to start listening to music in a whole new way. Number two, you can now translate everything. Imagine hopping on a FaceTime call or phone call with someone who doesn't speak your language, and yet you're still understanding every word they say. Sounds impossible, right? Not anymore. Live translation is built directly into messages, FaceTime, and phone calls, and it happens in real time. When you're texting someone who speaks a different language, your messages automatically translate as you type and get delivered delivered in their preferred language. When they respond, you see their message in perfect English instantly. But here's where it gets incredible. On FaceTime calls, you can read live captions off of what someone is saying while still hearing their actual voice. It's like having subtitles in real life. And during phone calls, your words get translated and spoken out loud to the other person while you hear their responses translated back to you. The best part, this works even when calling Android users because Apple opened this technology to all developers. So whether you're traveling overseas and need help checking into your Airbnb, chatting with a new friend who speaks a different language, or reconnecting with family who grew up speaking something else, your iPhone just became your personal translator. Number three, you no longer have to guess when your iPhone will be fully charged. This honestly took way too long to come out, but I'm so glad it's finally here on the iPhone. When you plug in your iPhone, it now shows you exactly how long until it's fully charged charged right above the clock on your lock screen. No more guessing, no more checking every few minutes, no more leaving the house with a half charged phone because you weren't sure if you had enough time. As you can see right here, when I plug my phone in, it says 42% charge, 29 minutes to 80%. Now here's the interesting part. Apple shows the time to 80% instead of 100%. This is actually smart because charging slows down significantly after 80% to protect your battery. The last 20% can take almost as long as as the first 80%. So Apple focuses on getting you to that sweet spot where you have plenty of juice for the day. This might seem like a small thing, but it's one of those features that once you have it, you can't imagine living without it. No more charging anxiety. And yes, I know Android has had this for years, but hey, we finally got it too. Number four, say goodbye to waiting on hold. Ever been trapped listening to the same 30 second hold music loop for what feels like an eternity? Too afraid to hang up because you'll lose your place in line? You're your iPhone is about to become your escape artist. Hold Assistant is like having a personal assistant who waits on hold for you. When you call customer service and get put on hold, your iPhone detects the hold music and asks you if you want it to wait for you. Tap hold and the music stops, but the call stays connected. Now you can put your phone away and go about your day. Check emails, grab coffee, take a walk, whatever you need to do. When a real human finally picks up, your iPhone rings to bring you back to the call and even tells the agent you'll be there in a moment. This works for any situation, changing flights, dealing with insurance, calling utility companies, or waiting for tech support. Instead of being trapped by your phone, staring at the ceiling while smooth jazz plays for 45 minutes, you can actually be productive or just scroll on TikTok. Your iPhone handles the boring wait while you handle your life. So far, we've covered how iOS 26 can transform Apple Music into a personal DJ, translate any conversation in real time, tell you exactly where your phone will 
be charged and wait on hold so you don't have to. These aren't just cool features, they're genuine time savers that solve real problems you deal with every day. But we're just getting started because the next four are about to change how you use your camera, screenshots, track orders, and have your phone answer calls for you. Number five, the camera app is finally usable. Picture this, you're exploring a new city or on a weekend trip with friends when something incredible happens. You pull out your phone, but by the time you figure out the right setting, it's too late. iOS 26 completely redesigns the camera app with one goal. Get out of your way so you can capture the moment. The new interface elevates photo and video models, the two you actually use 90% of the time. Everything else is just a swipe away. Want portrait mode? Swipe left or right. Need to adjust your timer or aspect ratio? Swipe up. Want to switch to 4K for that once in a lifetime shot? It's all visible with a single tap instead of being buried in menus. The Photos app got the same treatment. Remember tabs? They're back. Now you have separate tabs for your library and collections, making it actually possible to find your photos without endless scrolling. This isn't just about looking prettier, it's about not missing moments because you're fumbling through settings. When your kid does something adorable or you witness something incredible, you want to capture it instantly, not spend 10 seconds hunting for the right mode. Number six, screenshots are now more useful than ever before. You see something you want to buy online, screenshot it, and then just sits in your camera roll forever while you forget what you were even looking for. What if I told you that a screenshot could actually help you buy it? Visual intelligence now works on anything you see on your screen. See a jacket you like on Instagram? Take a screenshot and instantly find where to buy it. Spot a cool lamp on TikTok? Screenshot it and search for similar ones on Etsy, all without leaving the app. Here's how it works. Take a screenshot using the same buttons you always have. Now you get two sets of options the old screenshot tools at the top for markup and sharing, and the new visual intelligence tools are at the bottom. Tap the image search button and find similar items across Google, Amazon, or whatever shopping apps you use most. But it goes way deeper. See an event flyer? Visual intelligence can extract the time and location, then create a calendar event automatically. Have a question about something on your screen? Tap ask and ChatGPT will analyze the image and give you answers instantly. Your screenshots just became your personal research assistant, shopping companion, and information hub all in one. Number seven, track orders in the wallet app. You know that feeling when you order something online and then spend the next week digging through your email trying to find the tracking info? Your wallet app is about to become your new best friend. iOS 26 automatically detects when you get order confirmations in your email and starts tracking those packages for you in the wallet app. No more hunting through your inbox, no more copying and pasting tracking numbers, no more trying to remember which email account you used for that purchase. When you get a confirmation email, it automatically creates a tracking card in your wallet, you can see exactly where your package is, when it's expected to arrive, and get notifications when it's out for delivery. Everything is organized in one place instead of being scattered across different emails and apps. This works with major retailers and shipping companies, so whether you order from Amazon, Target, or that random website you found at 2 a.m., your wallet app keeps track of all of it. It's like having a personal assistant who remembers all your online shopping and keeps you updated without you having to lift a finger. Number eight, you now have better control over spam and unknown calls. If your phone rings and you instantly wonder, is this my dentist or another car warranty scam, you're going to love this feature. iOS 26 introduces call screening, essentially giving you a bouncer for your phone calls. When an unknown number calls, your iPhone automatically answers in the background without you even knowing. The caller has to state their name and reason for calling, then your phone decides if it's worth your time. Here's how it works. Spam caller dials your number, your phone silently answers and asks, who is this and why are you calling? If it's a telemarketer, the call gets blocked. If it's the restaurant confirming your reservation, your phone rings and shows you exactly what they want. The same protection extends to messages. Instead of your inbox being cluttered with spam texts and unknown numbers, iOS 26 creates a dedicated spam folder. Unknown senders get quarantined until you approve them, but important messages like your food is ready or verification codes still come through instantly. Your messages go from chaotic to completely organized. Finally, having a digital bouncer for both calls and texts. And honestly, I'm here for it. And there 
you have it. Eight, iOS 26 features that'll actually change how you use your iPhone daily. No fluff, just real fixes for everyday problems. If you learned something new, hit like and subscribe for more iPhone tips that matter. Which feature are you most excited about? Call screening or skipping hold music? Drop a comment and let me know. I read all my comments and I'll see you guys next time.